What's going on everybody? Devinator Gaming here. And today we're going to be bringing up a video that I had a couple questions about the other night playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The multiplayer, I was grinding out some guns, some camos, some things I've just been kind of working on here and there, trying to get the mastery camo. Is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 dead? Um, we will be bringing up some screenshots here in a second. I was in a lobby with some people and I just kept getting killed by the same people that I'd played games with before as you can see there African Warlord and, and Senior Bands uh, they, they appear in my next game which is kind of weird with the disbanding lobbies and how the skill based matchmaking works and granted it was a Monday night I believe early into Tuesday morning and here we got another one uh, and these people there's actually a few of them that follow us uh, one actually follows us all the way through these three games back to back we got Roddy Rich uh, Frag Trap 42, Joseph Cole, and Sawani. Actually, if you see, follows us all the way through here, these these three games right in a row. Um, again, it was, I mean, you know, 1.30 in the morning. I, you can see on my time, I was just kind of playing after work, uh, grinding some camos, doing this, that, and the other. And and, and it seems like Call of Duty's dead. Um uh, so I, it led me to do some research, and there were some videos on YouTube about a month ago, three weeks ago, that saying that the game was dead. So I did some research, and there's nothing you can really find as far as an active player count. Uh, but, but Steam did have this, and as you can see on, on the screenshot, I was looking this up about an hour after playing uh, 2.26. I stopped playing maybe 10 minutes before that, and 25 minutes ago, there were 64,000 people playing. Uh, and that's just a Steam, so we'll just say that that's... You know, a third of the player base, it being uh, on Xbox, PlayStation, and uh, PC. So a third, that's about 180,000 people, which is, uh, <laughs> I mean, not, I mean, it's a lot of people, but not that many um, in the grand scheme of things. So it, is this game actually dead? Uh, it's, it's starting to seem like it, uh, it, it raises the bigger question. Can Season 2 actually save this game? As far as that goes, uh, I find the time and that I play this game actually pretty boring, unless I'm playing with friends. Uh, if I'm just getting on here to play the game, uh, which I do with a lot of games, I've been playing a lot of different games here lately, and, and it's just boring. I mean, other than the titles and emblems, and they track weird, the, the game's just kind of boring. The The camo grind is a long, hard, boring grind. Um, using guns and just not being overmatched uh it, it's boring um i've gotten all the kill streaks i've gotten juggernaut i've gotten chopper gunners and i've gotten i've gotten all those things so it's just kind of boring now um and really the season one battle pass is it just really was lackluster and, and it, there was just nothing let nothing in there like i've played Fortnite and Overwatch 2 since I've been playing this and I took a little break from this and those just have some cool things in there uh, it's just just cool and there's just wasn't a whole lot of cool things in this the, the camos were all kind of bland and and the operator skins that you got were just kind of bland and all that stuff it just was not very uh, intuitive I guess um, very bland uh, is uh, is DMZ going to get better? I mean, I was actually really looking forward to that. Uh, I liked playing Warzone. Uh, don't get me wrong. Warzone was awesome. Uh, the, the last couple maps, not really too great. Uh, I didn't really care for the small one that they made. I can't even remember it. Uh, Fortune's Keep and uh, Caldera. They weren't my favorite. But uh, is DMZ going to get better? Like, <laughs> it just kind of seems like they've, they're they just... Is it going to be able to stand on its own feet in this uh, Call of Duty-like world and a body of Call of Duty? Is it going to be able to stand alone like a Warzone or or the multiplayer? Is it going to be able to do that? Are they going to give it a chance? Um, I, I don't know. That leaves me questioning that. And so, will the updates to Warzone 2 help? And I hate to even call them updates, but that's what they're calling them. It, we're going back to some Warzone 1 stuff that and it just seems like in going back and leaning on the fact of, of DMZ can, can this game stand by itself because all the changes that they made in Warzone 2 they're reverting for the most part and going back to Warzone 1 which is what we want uh, I mean are they going to listen to us and change DMZ and continue to provide support for DMZ and, and 
back to Warzone 2, is is this going to help, or is the damage already done? I mean, do people even care to play this game anymore? Are they moving on? Uh, I'm kind of to the point where I'm 50-50. I could continue on and play this game and enjoy it, or I could just find something else. Um, along with the no updates or just reverting updates, the store updates. There's nothing in the store that's new. We have a, a, a Lunar New Year, I think, bundle. But, like, the, the store doesn't even seem to be rotating in and out anymore. It's just kind of is what it is for the past few days, and it, it's just not. I, I, I get on every night, and I check out the store, and I just see if there's anything cool. I have some COD points saved up. I, I have things, and, and if, I, if I see something neat, I might, I might grab it. Uh, I'm a pretty casual player, especially when it comes to that kind of stuff, but there's just been no new updates nothing's been in rotation nothing's changed it's all very stagnant um and, and just is this game dead and if it's not dead is it going to be able to survive some of these games that we've got coming out in the next few months uh i know we've got the dead space remake that just came out like last friday and that's going to take away people's attention for you know, it's just a campaign for but for a few hours. Uh, is that going to take people away from this game? I'm sure it has. What about something bigger like a Starfield that is going to come out? Or, you know, the new Hogwarts game that's going to come out? Is Are all these things going to continue the decline of Call of Duty? Is this game over? We've got this thing for two years. Can, can COD stay relative in the competition? I don't believe so. If they don't listen to their community and and continue to provide us with little to no updates and nothing to do and, and lackluster battle passes. I, I can't get over the fact that that battle pass was very bad, but let me know in the comment section below if you guys think that Call of Duty is dead right now. Um, just with the skill-based matchmaking and the disbanding lobbies, it's not very um, common to stay in a game with one person rode with me for at least three games in a row. And a couple others were just hanging out with me for a couple games. We it seemed like we got to know each other really well. Um, we we knew each other's play style by the end of it, and that's just not how this all works. Um, but I think I'm going to cut the video off here. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Be sure to comment your opinion whether or not Warza or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is dead. Um, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.